So today we're in uh, in Beverly Hills, up here in the hills, and uh, we have a tree that uh, that toppled. So they had called this uh, this tree company, but their uh, their truck's a, a 40 ton, and uh, they don't think it can handle the weight of that tree, which they estimate being around uh, 80, 85,000 pounds. So we're gonna utilize Big Flipper to stabilize it as uh, the crane uh, hoists up the, the tree cutter and starts taking uh, small chunks of the tree down. Momentarily, I'll, uh, I'll walk down there and I'll show you guys where uh, the tree is and how it dislodged from the base. But I pretty much have a flipper set up right now to be able to uh, aid in pulling it over. I'm gonna test uh, how easy it comes over first so the tree is still on the ground so I don't I estimate I'm only going to be pulling about 40 which should be plenty for flipper to uh, be able to uh, to puff towards uh, towards the boom Let's go through this walkway. See if I can get you a better look. But it's that uh obviously it's a beautiful home here. It's that uh tree, which I believe is called the Widowmaker. Very dense wood, so it's extremely heavy. Obviously you could see here it uh it came out from the base. And um basically uh toppled. I'll uh, shoot up the drone momentarily so you can get a bird's eye view of this. But it basically uprooted all this, uh, all these steps here for the home. Big tree. Big tree. I have to go in between those trees. Is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. If you need to cut them, I can cut them. No, I mean, I'm not going to... What's going to run through is a cable, so it's going to pretty much push them out of the way, but... Yeah, well, he can get up there with the crane and pull them out. Yeah, that way he can pull the cables out. Yeah, well, in that case, do you just want me to have the boom out? Yeah, just have the boom out. Hit ground and then take them out. So okay, I'll, I'll do that.
Ya, yeah. todo lo que vas a hacer, si ¿sí hablas español, sí. sí, todo lo que vas a hacer es que vas a poner esta parte en el centro de atrás Ajá. y luego esta lo vas a poner en la otra punta así con la con la hook aquí, Ajá. ok. Ay, güey, no son tan pesados, si sí, están un poquito pesados y luego. Más aparte lo que va a ser un poquito más pesado va a ser sacar el, el cable. Ese sí va a ser un poquito pesado. It's okay if I boom down in between the trees to pull the cable down, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> What happened? It was a oh. Tell me.
Hey man, is it okay if I shoot on my drone? Yeah, bro, they're, they're, they're doing their own video, so do good. Huh? All right. <laughs> oh, good. You see that skinny fool with the, with the hoodie? Yeah. The red hoodie? Yeah. Tell him that way he comes in, you know? Okay. Thankfully. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Huh? Okay. So I can see the the tree guy. It's right there. He's uh, at the moment right now strapping the the, the top part to be uh, cut. Uh, once he's complete doing that, he's actually going to go down and uh, throw my rigging up there for me. Obviously, ideally, I like to do my own rigging, but in this case, uh, I don't have a harness to go up there. I have my half harness, but so just so you could see the the grandeur of things we have that uh 40 ton truck crane which is all the way boomed out it's gonna get that piece up there for for me right there so Very nice homes, very expensive. Obviously they want to get that tree out so it doesn't crush everything. So that little piece down there that you see, it weighs about 80, 85,000 pounds. And right there we see Big Flipper with this boom out. Obviously it's not going to be all the way extended, but I'm going to basically probably put it at, I don't know, 40 degrees maybe. And retract all the way in and just have my cables and start winching in and see how it uh it reacts if uh if i start seeing that my truck's too unstable to sustain the load i'm gonna go ahead and call a second truck and between me and hulk we'll uh we'll go ahead and tackle it golf course down there you gonna rig it? Oh. We gonna be able to rig it? Yeah, he says that he'll go and throw up the rigging for me. He's ready now. Oh, he is? Okay. Oh, he did the top? Okay. My guy's telling me just to make sure uh, that we understand mm -hmm. that once you take the tree out of that, you seen it right with the drone? Yeah. You see where it's kind of like where it pinches itself into? Mm -hmm. That once it once you take it out, obviously it's like it's go time. Like we can't run anymore. Yeah, that's fine. So just want to make sure that we go. Oh, of course we have understanding. Yeah. 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 Just then, like I said, just let me gauge it. Let me see how the, tr the, the tree bench reacts and how my truck is reacting. If it's yeah. stable and I'm pulling it off and it's coming over fairly easy, okay. then we'll go ahead and uh, okay. we'll, we'll go, I'll just keep pushing. Okay. You want to use this one? Do you communicate with all three of these guys? Um, yeah, if you want. 
the other way. This way, right? No, the other way. Like that, yeah. Like that? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, uh, so what I did is uh, they're all single line, but each strap is rated for 40,000 pounds, so... Just wrap it around the tree. There's gonna be two. No, it's gonna be two of them. Yeah, so if you, if obviously the, the tree is 360, you're probably gonna put one at, I don't know, 30 degrees and the other one maybe 150. So that way they're pretty much grabbing both sides. How much is their overhaul ball weigh? Okay. <laughs> a little the, yeah off to your left a little bit No, no, a ver. Uh, chica, venira, ábrelo. No puedes nada más abrirla. El otro. Lo puedo poner en este, ira. Ya, y si querías poner, vamos a poner los dos. Sí. Si querías poner los dos, nomás. Ya, yeah, whatever. Pon ese, puedes poner ese en ese. Ok. Ahí está este. No. No boom. That's enough. That's enough. All I'm going to do is just boom up and and boom in. You'll see. Yeah, I don't need extension. I need leverage. Si están poquito pesadas, eh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're, they're pretty heavy. Tú cálmate, estúpido, no tienes. I love you, mis huevos. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go. Go. Super. Quieres? Quieres uno, no? <laughs> left, a little bit to the left. There you go, he's on the truck now.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, he's going around. I got it. Una pregunta. ¿Le vas a poner los dos, los dos ganchos? ¿Mande? ¿Le vas a poner los dos cables? Sí, lo, le va a poner una a esa y luego el otro strap al otro. Dos y dos. Dos y dos. Did we flip the, did we flip the crane that wet? Oh, you know what? That was a fatal. Yeah, that was me and Josh. Yeah, but we didn't, uh, we've, yeah, we didn't, we didn't film it because it was a fatal. The guy was all smashed. Yeah, no, we, we film it for insurance purposes, but we don't, we don't publish it. Uh, just yeah for fatals we don't do that even though like i always tell josh if we would ever post something like that we'd probably get mad views on it just because you know people want to see stuff like that but it's not right okay okay voy a subir <laughs> voy a subir la voy a subir la boom eh okay boom up In the in the cab, you see our videos. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, right now I got I got primes. That's what I got right now. Uh huh. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can never learn too much. That's good? Okay. What's up? <laughs> Be nice. Ah. Uh -huh. Knuckleheads. Say what? Oh yeah. Oh, that guy. That guy was like on a good one, man. <laughs> Now Josh is the one that's kind of mouthy, but I get it. Yeah, I know. No, Josh is super cool. He doesn't, I mean, it takes a lot for him to start getting like that. I'm a lot more patient, but you know, but man, some guys are just knuckleheads, man. No, I know.
<laughs> so right now the the gentleman is uh putting the the last uh, strap around that tree. So he's placing my uh, my platinum slings around uh, that tree trunk. Uh, those particular platinum slings are rated for uh, 40,000 in a vertical. So right now what he's doing is that he's pretty much uh, wrapping that tree around. I mean wrapping that uh, sling around. Pretty much even it out. Obviously no easy task, especially with all those ropes. Obviously everything has to be uh, pretty precise and he also has to uh, he has to um, ensure that uh, my straps are, are attached correctly and uh, attach the shackles at the end to not damage the, the slings. Just so you could see where flipper's at. There's a boom up there, you could see it. The other boom's right there. Flipper right in between the trees. Get you a different angle right there. Attaching the last shackle and uh, gonna attach my hook to that. Obviously, oh, being up in the air, it's, it's a lot heavy. It's very heavy to pull up those snatch blocks and all that stuff. Looks like we're ready. Yeah. Put a pressure on it? What happened? You're putting pressure on it? No, not yet. Oh. Yeah, all the time, man. It seems like it's never ending. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah? Okay. What happened? Like, what's gonna happen right now? Like, you're gonna try and pull it. Right now, what I'm gonna do is gonna start putting tension on my cables okay. and see how the tree trunk reacts according to my truck. Okay. If it starts being super stable, I'm gonna keep on going so that way these guys can start cutting it off. Okay. And if it starts, you know, loading the truck too much where it starts tipping it over or anything like that, then at that point we can make the call to either call second truck yeah. or come in the morning with the with the bigger truck like he said but it, it depends just keep an eye on my truck i'm gonna be over there I know, hold on. Yeah, I know. It's it's moving it. Yeah, I could see it. The only thing I'm worried is that the tree is wedged against that one and then when I pull it's going to let go. You understand? It's moving it. It's in the air? The only problem that I see... Okay. Do I need to rotate or no? Because I'm not sure if, it's, if it wants to go over from the other side. ¿Está despegado? More? Keep going? What was that? What was that? Oh, I know what happened. On the bottom right here, right? El agro. Oh. My what? Oh, it's not real. Oh. No, it's not free spool. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. I boomed in and it loosens the cable. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah. No, I'm not seeing how much pressure I got. No, I didn't put a, a gauge. I got load cells. The only thing is that I feel that thing is like not budging, it's gonna let go. There it is, see, okay. Ya está bien? So you could cut it right there, or quieres que lo jale poquito más? Uh, yeah? Okay. See. Oh, yeah. Super solid. Good. Yeah, no, it's coming up straight. The only thing is uh, since it was wedged in there, I think with the pressure, I was afraid that obviously as a 45, it would snap back. And then at that point, I have no control going this way. Yeah, the drone has a spotlight. Oh. oh, he makes four grand a week? That's really good money. <laughs> good. I know, he's a... Yeah, it yeah. so we're good? Yeah, it looks like it's good. Okay, I'm gonna call some trucks so we can get trucks over here. Yeah, we're getting the first cup. Hey, since you're cutting off the pieces, um, do I have to let go of tension as you're cutting the piece? Okay. I'm looking at it, you'll clear it, yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Oh, 
Vale, Felipe. Y para que se vea todo, no es bueno, no es bueno. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Good job, huh? Yeah. Definitely uh, the first time I ever did something like this. Yeah, that's what he said. Not your first time doing something like this, huh? Yeah, dude. We're laughing with Josh. Well, Josh is the owner, right? Yeah. We're laughing with them because they were like, ever since we got that tree job, we've just been getting all kinds of tree. We got the crane, we got all kinds of uh, the, the semi obviously hitting the tree, all kinds of it's funny how it works. Yeah. They, they were trying to get like another crane, it's too wide, too uh, big. And that was going to be the option one, it's cheaper than you guys. Okay. But it was, um, it's just wider, 350 wide. Yeah, hey, that's huge, huh? 275 ton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a massive one, huh? Yeah, I would have picked it up. That would have picked up the whole tree. <laughs> it would have been. Yeah. I thought of it. We get, let's get two, one here, one over there. That was my first instinct. Yeah. And I think we could have done it with the other one. Like, what's the thing? If we would have had two, but it was sketch, you know, and they're like, what that? Let's bring Pepe in. Let's bring him in. Yeah. All right, hey guys, I'm going to just pause the video right here to go over something really quick based on what this guy just said. If you'll notice, he says that he has um, a much larger crane that probably would have been a lot better for this job. But if you pay attention, he said space was the issue. They couldn't get it up there. Now, I'm going to address this because I get this comment so many times, especially as we do these bigger jobs, especially that excavator where people keep saying, well, you should have just called a bigger crane. First, people underestimate how um, small some of these streets can be, especially in the nicer parts of L.A. and the surrounding counties where it's just not feasible not impossible but in order to get a large crane up there you need uh pilot cars the proper routes the streets cleared it's an entire process and following behind that huge crane you're going to need a flatbed trailer or two with all the counterweights the rigging uh just like you saw in that million dollar house video i posted recently where that super dope huge crane did that job but if you saw all the equipment it needed and how big it was it's just not possible in some of these beverly hills areas where they're one lane roads with cars on each side. Big Flipper's rear axle goes up, which allows it to turn incredibly easy. We can get into some crazy areas, as you see in often uh, my videos. So that's probably the biggest reason we get called a lot as opposed to cranes, is just the space. We can get to anywhere from point A to point B at the drop of a dime. If someone calls, you know, we can be there in 30 minutes flat. And then five minutes after that, uh, the truck's already set up. Outriggers planted, boom out. We're very quick, so that's one huge benefit. And two, another thing I want to address is um, everyone is an expert in hindsight. I've noticed uh, you guys get the advantage of seeing my videos when they're 100% done and everyone has their opinion. Well, I would have done this. I would have done that. Well, yeah, of course you could have because you've seen the whole you know video from start to finish. Some of these jobs, like I said, you're, you just you go sight and scene and everything's just off the top of the head. You got to go. Sometimes if the first plan doesn't work, you adapt. And final thing is I want to thank you guys so much for drum roll this puppy finally came in so i want to thank each and every one of you guys that follows my channel all the time um all the regulars you know who you are all the new people let's get this to a million i'm hoping in half the time it took to get to this first hundred thousand so i'm gonna cut this short and let you guys get guys get back to the video hope you enjoy alice's work and let me know what you think of this job in the comments peace How, do, how does that one do at night? It's cool. I have the 1.2 lens, which is pretty Oh, cool. that's why, yeah. But yeah, it's pretty cool at night. I, I like it. What do you, do you film and edit the videos? Um, Josh does. All pros? Yeah. yeah. He's the one that does it. He uses DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, that's dope. That's yeah. a nice program. I do light editing, but he does all the heavy editing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's dope, bro.
Okay, so everything's cool. He just has to cut it now. He's gonna start cutting in, in sections. Okay. So is they're gonna cut the section, bring it over, cut a different section, bring it over. Okay. As it gets lighter, then I'll start uprighting a little bit more and more. Okay. So the initial thing was this because when it hit, yeah. it kind of wedges itself against the other tree. The trees give way, right? They're not yeah. rigid all the time. True. So when it's hitting, there's a there's pressure on it. So as you're pulling up, it's yeah. sliding up, and there's there's shock load on it. So you gotta be careful not to pull too hard because I mean I could winch all day you know yeah. but either that thing just slams forward and at that point I can't catch it going this way just gonna come this way or the the truck starts coming over so that's why I had the the other crane operator look at my truck how it's behaving oh yeah that's but great. he said it was stable so good it's gonna be a minute before you catch it. I mean, oh it is yeah it's gonna be a minute yeah okay I would say after he takes off the, the sauce So he's, right, he's right now strapping it up. Okay. So after he turns the saw, I'd say he probably got like maybe three minutes, two minutes to cut that. Okay. Just the diameter. <laughs> You're here. Okay. Yeah, you can turn it down. It's that saw gets loud. Okay. Right there, you can see that he's cutting. Right there, obviously he's cutting the, the, the top of the trunk. <laughs> what do you got on your on your load cell? What about two two three thousand pounds? Eighteen hundred?
Bro, that's your light that's shining right there? What happened? That that's your light that's shining on him? This one? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, the one up there? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I was no. like, what the? No, that's my boom light on the boom. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're like, that's powerful. Oh, sorry, my dude got a six in it. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Do I feel comfortable with my truck? No, it was smooth, it was perfect. It's a big chunk right there. How much? 7,000? Uh, that's a big piece. 7,000 pounds, guys. What do you say? That's about 10 feet? Right? 10 feet pit section, 7,000 pounds. What do they call them? Widowmaker? Yeah. Yeah. Very dense, huh? Normally for these jobs, you guys have to get like a certified arborist to come inspect it. A certified arborist. Who? Uh, the owner of the company. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Yeah, there's still quite a bit, but the next piece that you guys cut off, it's, it's gonna be around the same thing. It's gonna be way easier now. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. So you're probably gonna make two, two more cuts before you get to my straps, huh? Yeah? Oh, because you said it overloaded your boom? Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, did, uh, did the other guy that, uh, when he flipped the crane, did he get hurt? The tree guy? No? That's good. What weight do you have on this one? Another seven? Oh wow, that's a smaller piece. 
Well, it's obviously thicker, that's why. Hey, this house is massive. It does? Crazy, huh? Normally when we uh, we go on these jobs, we, we zillow the houses around here just to get... We'll do that right now, see if I get reception. Yeah, this house right here is 8.86 million. 3.2. Yeah, just with me and Josh, like I said, we always uh, check the real estate around here, here in Beverly Hills. Like you could see, 8.86 million. The house right next to it, 13 million. Wow, that's some big money. Big, big money.
What happened? We're hourly. It depends on the area. What are we doing? Uh, At this point, what they do is that they they end up cutting the, the foliage, the extra tree branches on that big trunk. And then they proceed to get the big trunk hoisted and put it into that truck to haul it away. And some of these pieces have been uh, right around seven. This one, I believe, was 5,500. But as you go down on the tree, Right, it gets thicker, so even though the piece looks smaller, it's actually heavier in weight, but it's more dense and it's wider. So it's uh, definitely a, a big job. This tree had, uh, I guess, had fallen down uh, a couple of nights ago and landed on the other tree. So that's what Big Flipper is doing is it's sustaining the, the whole load while these guys uh, cut the pieces off and uh, and um, basically tear it apart one by one. Good job, man. branches being hauled away so the foliage is taken to the shredder over here where it gets thrown in that uh, compactor and gets shredded to bits the flipper is still sustaining that big boom in the air 75 tons We got a 40 ton over here, which obviously has bad height to be able to reach those, uh, that tree trunk, which is, uh, it's almost pretty much 
cut down half the size. How big is it? Thought we sand it pretty much up there and now it's uh down and cut to size. I had mentioned before this house is a it's a mansion right next to the golf course and uh it's worth eight point eight six million dollars according to Redfin. It has a, a grotto and it's a very very nice home. Obviously this is gonna be an insurance job by the, the tree falling so Homeowners insurance will definitely pick up the tab on this one. It's just going to be in the in the thousands. So it's just to give you a, a grotto right there, and this thing pretty much goes all the way down here. Very nice home. Well, back to the work. Here you go. Tree trunk, almost done. Well, at this point, what we did is uh, we lowered my straps so the gen numbers can start cutting even more. So now it's way further down. As you can see, he's cutting up there. The first hole in it. At this point, you can see that the tree is no longer way up there as it was originally. There's one of the tree branches here. Bird's eye view from over here. I mean, a bird's eye view. Uh, pan out from here. That 40 ton crane. And you have the 75 ton big flipper over there holding up the tree still so they're chopping it away at it we just uh, lower the cables uh I mean the cables uh platinum slings another 20 feet down so i believe on the next one what i'm going to do is i'm going to retract my boom a little bit as i cable in so that way i'm not really pulling up towards it i'm pulling it more down and just uh maintaining a a safe um a safe upright upright on the on that tree trunk which is uh, significantly down it's actually about 40 feet now so it's a significantly shorter but we got a, a, a good amount of time here oh yeah I was That's a big piece. What do you got, 7,500? Okay. As you can see, another big piece right there, about 7,000 pounds. Very big piece. It's almost there, huh? Dude, yeah. That's a big piece. 
Hey, when you applied for your job, bro, what, was it like being a filmer was part of it? Or no, it's just something we do. What the one that was doing it was uh, was Josh originally, but since I'm a little tech savvy, I mean, yeah. I just decided to help him out because obviously the jobs that he's that he's not on, he doesn't film, so he loses yeah. out on that. That's sick. So bro. for these, I just start start filming away. Uh, yo, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, he's directly over it. Yeah, he's right over it. No, we don't we don't turn jobs down. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh you saw that one? Well, I had to use the trees to bring it over. And then my stupid GoPro died out right before the upright. It was pulling it over and then it I think it died halfway or something. I think when the when I when I finally changed the battery, I think the I had it up already. I, you want me to release both? All right. I'm, I'm low, hold on. All right, here, let me, let me let go of one cable. All right, hold on. Okay. Yeah, once lose. Oh. Yeah, because I'm holding the other one. At this point, I think I'm just going to tell him to lower it as much as he can. Well, both of them. That way, once once I put pressure on the half part, on the half portion, I'll be half. I'd rather be like this. Yeah. Mas, mas luz. Listo. Okay. Who made this? Is it bien? Okay. It's más fácil entre dos personas. Oh, he doesn't want to go up? Sí, yo le sé cuál es la presión. All I'm doing right here is uh, I'm re I'm releasing the pressure on the on individual cables on the straps so we could uh, fish them all the way down. Once we get them down to another length, and at that point they'll go ahead and uh, cut another section of the tree, which, like I said, is uh, pretty much down. And it's 40 feet, and that's another 35, maybe 33 feet. 
here's the base of it obviously it it uprooted so uh they had a certified arborist over here and uh Mas? Mas? Tu me avisas. Yeah, nice. Le pongo presión. Oh, that's good, that's good. There's a bamboo meat. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, it's a... 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 That's it? That's it? Almost there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you have to. I can't reach that far, huh? You guys, you guys probably should have a. Uh, you guys probably should, should have cameras they, on the boom head. They sell some, but the spot is dripping. Yeah. So it's basically cutting almost that uh that last section. Got yeah, two guys up there now. Uh, he was helping out the initial guy to lower the straps. You can see the base of the of the tree there. And now they're cutting another eh, give or take ten or nine foot section that probably weighs close to seven thousand pounds. I was laughing with the crane operator and his name is Julio. Uh, like he hits around the money at seven thousand. This comes to show uh, what years of experience does he able to cut sections that are uh, safe for, uh, for a crane to lift. We're almost at the base, so it's a very, very thick piece.
Just to get an aerial shot, see big flipper and that big crane, 40 ton crane. And you can see the straps holding it down. Oh, it went. No, no, no! It swung toward, it swung that way. No, I didn't. It just it swung that way. But I see what it said. That the the start. I seen your boom start flexing that way. I think you lifted a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Because the thing was, they, they didn't. They missed the cut. Uh huh. So when they missed the cut, it just flipped. Yeah. No guy. Está abajo. Sí, ahí lo miro abajo en, la, en el tronco. Lo estoy mirando con el drone. Está abajo, está abajo del tronco. No, sí, ahí está. Lo, a ver, espérame, déjame ver si la, le hago zoom in. Sí, ahí lo miro, lo miro que está ahí. Parece que se está bajando. Sí, tú estás arriba, ¿verdad? Sí, él está abajo. No, estás bien, mijo, estás bien. Sí. Yeah, it's completely severed. You're, you're, you're holding it. Yeah, I'll go because I picked it up and I saw it drop. Yeah. That's why it doesn't pick me up because I got a chunk over. <laughs> yeah, that was intense. <laughs> that was intense. I was able to catch it though before they they finished. Yeah. I just had a problem with it. They cut that piece off and uh, it swung a little bit and it started uh, floating the the crane. So you know, it comes to show that some of these jobs are extremely dangerous and if. Uh, you have uh, inexperienced uh, crane operators and stuff could go bad. And good thing we have a really good crane operator and a really good guy that knows how to make the cuts correct to avoid disasters. How heavy is that piece? Nine? Heavy, huh? You know what? Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
are very unpredictable. You see the piece right there, it's uh, floating in the air. This one was the heaviest yet, about 9,000 9, pounds. You can see that piece will, uh, will be placed on that, uh, on that truck where it's collecting the rest of the tree trunks uh, for transport, for disposal. Very heavy piece. Very scary. That's the end. That's the end. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. That's the end. Yeah. 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 Oh, he rappelled down? Yeah? But on purpose or he hit the lever? Oh, okay. Oh, so he has a belay device, right? Go forward, shoot it, shoot it. Go forward? Yeah. Oh, so he has a belay device, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you want to jump out there? <laughs> yeah, I saw him at the bottom with the thing. I, I caught it on film for sure. Another status update. We pretty much got the pretty much almost the whole tree cut down. So again now we're probably gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna we're gonna uh, lower the lines all the way pretty much down and cut another section off. My guy's uh, outstanding. Um, nice straight cuts and the crane operator is superb where he's able to uh, pretty much sustain, suspend that load. I don't know if you uh, we just did a crane job where the guy was uh, not very uh, not very bright and uh, ended up flipping the, the crane truck onto a, a house which obviously is uh, it's uploaded big learning uh, curve on that one for for us but we got it and um, this one I'm glad I went up to plan used two individual my uh, platinum slings which are rated at 40 uh, each and uh, pretty much uh, used leverage on my on my side to bring up the this 85,000 pound tree tree trunk and uh, 
as they cut pieces obviously the the weight diminishes but we're almost done long job into the night but we're gonna get it done yeah about three more cuts huh all right you're close and then how do you guys get the tree trunk out okay Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. No way. Look, boy. 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 Yeah. A fairly big piece, something. Yeah, actually, no. Might be seven thousand pounds. Then we put a uh, big slippers uh, lines uh, down. Big slipper is holding up uh, that tree trunk. So I'd say about two or three more cuts, and uh, we pretty much be done. We're just gonna leave the, the trunk, the base of the trunk at the bottom there. Obviously it would serve, uh, it would uh, pose no threat to uh, the neighboring structure or the other tree. Originally it was uh, sus uh, not suspended, it was leaning against the other tree. Very heavy tree. So um, we're almost done guys. It's about 9.41, so we've been here for quite some time. Big Flipper has been doing uh, the heavy lifting of, uh, at one point, uh, suspending uh, close to uh, uprighting the, the 85,000 pound uh, tree.
puts the weight on that one, Julio. 6,000? Yeah, it looks like it's smaller from the other piece. Well, and, and it was a bad cut, too. It floated you a bit. they do after is that they, uh, they adjust the straps for the crane operator to flip it, see, we put it from one single point, so as he lifts up, it flips it. Very careful where he just uh, lifts enough where it clears some air and the moment it starts lifting off, it releases the cable so that way it doesn't shock load and boom and potentially damage it and bend it. Very experienced operator. Now once again they uh, adjust the straps. They'll go ahead and uh, get it airborne and uh, truck will back up. Very long process, but very necessary. You can't cut too much off because at that point you'll be uh, overloading your boom, potentially uh, tip it. Flip rate. 
goes down to the bottom. Definitely a team effort. That's the last piece right there. Probably one more cut. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Es el de arriba? No, no creo. No, le di el otro. ¿Sí? Ok. Oh, sorry, Alex. Sorry, Alex, sorry. Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Tú traes? No, por ahorita que me resbalé. No, por eso, pero tú I think it was good. Can you go in a little bit back? That's fine, Doc. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Very, very good teamwork. Let it go a little bit more. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Pressure in? Uh hold on. Yeah. That's good. Okay, pressure in. Cable in. Vito, Okay, cable out. Um, okay. Oh, no, hold on. I say it right here. Put no, put pressure a little bit. That's fine. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. What do you want first? Uh, Julio, put pressure. Yeah, put pressure. Pressure, pressure. The pressure, mija. The pressure, chiquita. Lo tiene, es estúpido. Oh, that's good. That's good, mija. Do it. No se va? No, 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 no se va. You got it? Yeah. No, 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 so, so let, let, let it go in the first Yeah, I have no tension. Let it. Yeah. So, so bring the... Okay, let me free spool them. Yeah. Okay. Almost. I'm <laughs> 
<laughs> we have a guy in a beamer over here <laughs> trying to get through no it's a guy in a beamer <laughs> he's honking when he sees the the outriggers blowing out and everything yeah yeah Okay. I see him. No, pero está bien, no se sale. Acá tiene el para arriba. What's the weight on that one? Nine five. You're at eleven. 
Seven. You go for 11, so you're 9.5, good. Final piece, 9,500. Final piece right there. Big piece. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice, Julio. Very nice. As you can see now, that is the base of the tree trunk. It's basically cut off, and you could pretty much see why this one came came down. You could see the big holes there, so it was already pretty much dying all the way down. So, as you can see right there, but. This job is uh, pretty much completed in conjunction with uh, with these gentlemen right here. Cool. This thing was all the way up there, leaning against that tree. So from what uh, Julio tells me, which is a crane operator, he told me that they're gonna take this one down later on this week, and he's gonna utilize his uh, his hundred ton for this one big boom height and counterweight to be able to safely uh, take, tackle this, uh, this tree down. Oh, I get, we get those guys all the time. You see that? Yeah. I installed the I installed the power inverter in my truck. Right over here. Yeah. So turn it on. Let me turn on the power inverter, which is Bluetooth. It's uh, from Cummins. Oh yeah. Yeah. Watch. So you, Cummins. Yeah. So it's a power inverter, right? So connect. Connecting's connected, right? And then. Yeah, uh, the wire all the way over here. Yeah. All those wires. See this one? Yeah. Power cable. And then I just click on and it starts uh, charging. So you'll see the little green light come on. Yeah, see how it's green? Yeah. Yeah, so that means it's charging your phone now. See? Yep. Oh, so uh, these gentlemen are just putting away their trucks. The crane guy seems to uh, be finished. He's ready to go. Gentlemen's over here have that huge uh, tree stump in the, in the truck. So, uh, from uh, Beverly Hills, California, thanks for watching, guys, and be safe. Peace out.